Um, Hiroaki, can you take off your clothes? What? Why? I want to check something. Please? My name is Hiroaki Kaneko. I'm an ordinary high school student. So why am I being approached by Eri Takanashi, the school idol? The story goes back a few days ago. <sighs> Ugh, next is PE. I'm not looking forward to it. I have one thing that sets me apart from the others. That is... Hey, the legend is undressing. Look, it's the veteran warrior. Shut up. Hey, is it the great swordsman? I am not. Jeez. The thing that makes me different from others is the large scar on my back. I got it in an accident when I was small, and the scars are still visible. My classmates are bad, but it gets really annoying when they pick on my scars. Even a guy like me has a girl that I like. Hey, Hiroaki. H hey. Today's PE is a long distance run. I hate it. It's torture. Yeah, you're right. Oh, speaking of torture. Torture reminds you of something? Just like this, I always have a fun conversation with Eddie. Of course, it's only because Eddie is very friendly. So a girl like Eddie is, of course, popular in the class. Hey, let's go home, Hiro. Ah, sorry. I need to stay back today. Is something up? I have to take care of the fish. Oh, right. Thanks for that. Jeez, you guys left the most annoying job for me when I had a day off. Can't be helped. No one wanted to do it. Well, if I was in their shoes, I'd do the same thing. In our school yard, there's a small pond with carps and turtles, and the chosen students like me need to take care of them. Maybe it's also time to pull out some weeds from around the pond. Actual heavy-duty maintenance is left to the school contractor, but simple tasks like pulling out weeds are also our job. This is actually quite some hard work, which is why it is considered a losing lottery job. Wow, the carps have grown big, haven't they? Whoa, when did you get here? I've been here since you were complaining about pulling weeds. I didn't notice at all. Well, anyway, I envy the students who had chosen to take care of these creatures. Huh? Why? It's just a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but isn't it amazing that they're alive? Huh? I'm the type of person who values all life forms. You sound like a god. <laughs> but I'm serious. I realized the importance of life and someone saved my life a long time ago. I see. What happened? Well, there was a boy who saved me just in time and I was about to die. Wow, sounds like a TV drama. Right? That's why I learned that being alive is not to be taken for granted. Do you still talk to the boy who saved you? No, I wish I can meet him, but I don't even have his number. I want to say thank you if I ever see him again. I see. I couldn't ask her, but somehow I knew she had feelings for this boy just by looking at her face. He saved her life in the last minute, right? I actually have a similar experience. However, the person I saved was not a beautiful girl like Eddie, but a boy with a dignified look. At that time, I was still reckless enough to walk outside during a typhoon. Wow! The wind is so strong! Oh, did he come outside to experience the typhoon too? We might get along well. I shall go talk to him. Whoa! Huh? This wind is too strong. You should come over here too. Uh, okay. <sighs> now, what should we do from here on? I didn't expect the wind to be this strong. Sound. That glass is about to break. Huh? Look out! Ugh. Ugh. Uh, are you okay? There's a lot of broken glass. I'm fine, but can you call an ambulance? 
Afterwards, I was taken to the hospital and received several dozens of stitches for my injuries. I heard the boy was unharmed, but I was scolded severely by my parents later on, so I didn't have any chance to exchange contact information with him. I don't regret saving him, and I would even say I got the honorable scar. If only I saved Eddie instead of that boy, that would have been great. A few days later, the weeds had grown around the pond, and I was forced to work after school again. <sighs> this is such heavy work. I should have asked for someone's help. <laughs> Did you call me? Huh? Eddie? Why are you here? You were saying you have to pull the weeds the other day, right? I thought it was about time, so here I am. <laughs> now that you mention it, I guess I did say that. Yes, you did. So let me help you, okay? Really? But it's hard work. And I feel bad for making you do this. It's such a hard task, then I can't just leave it to you alone. <laughs> I'm actually good at pulling weeds, you know? Then, please. Thank you. Of course. That's okay. By the way, is it okay to pull out the weeds? Mm -hmm. Why do you ask? I mean, you were saying something about all life forms being important. <gasps> oh, I see. Weeds are also a form of life, huh? Did I say something unnecessary? <laughs> well, anyways, weeds are weeds after all. She switched topics quickly. Phew, it looks so much better now. Yeah, if we just pluck out these leaves, it should stay clean for a while. Thank you. No, thank you for everything. Huh? I realized how tough this is after helping you today. So I want to thank you. It's not a big deal. I was just forced to do it. Still, thank you. Uh, Eddie, you're too close. Oh, oh no! <laughs> hey, Hiroaki! Ugh. <sighs> Are you okay? I'm so sorry! Don't worry, it's not your fault. I'll go change into my gym clothes. You can head home. B but I will be okay. Thank you for helping me with the weeds. Uh, okay. That scar on his back. The next day, I went to school as usual. But there was one thing that was different. Hiroaki! Good morning, Eddie. What's up? Well, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Well, I'd like you to take off your clothes. Would you? What for? I just want to check something. Please? I mean, what do you want to check? I mean, there are people around us. What? Eddie is with Hiroaki? What the hell happened between them? I'm the one who wants to ask. Please, even if it's in private when no one is looking. Okay, okay, but why? Well, Hiroaki, do you have any scars on your back? Um, yeah? Maybe it's my fault that you have those scars. Do you mean the story you told me the other day? I've had a similar experience. But the one I saved was a boy. My hair was short back then. And I was often mistaken as a boy. Hey, that was the day of the typhoon, right, Hiroaki? Yeah. Are you saying the boy I was with during that typhoon was... Me. Really? What? Is there a cool reason for Hiroaki's scar? I thought it was a scar from scratching his back while he was sleeping. You're kidding. I've been looking for you for a long time. I wanted to thank you for saving me. <laughs> I didn't think that I was the one whom you owed for that story. Hey, Hiroaki. Do you have some time during your lunch break? Um, yeah. I guess I do. I want you to come with me somewhere. Okay. Now, it's lunchtime. Eddie has brought me to this deserted staircase. I think no one will come here. Yeah, but what exactly are we doing here? Um, well, I want you to show me your back. What? Why? It's my fault that you have that scar. So I want to see it properly. 
It's okay. You don't have to worry about it. Please. Uh, okay. It's embarrassing, but... There are still so many scars. Yeah, well, it doesn't bother me anyways. But I'm really sorry. It's okay. We were just reckless kids. It doesn't matter anymore. So, you forgive me? Forgive? I wasn't angry to begin with. <laughs> I see. You are so kind, Hiroaki. Thank you. Uh, Eddie? Uh, I can feel her skin directly on mine. Uh, hey, Hiroaki. Y yes I always, always wanted to meet the person who saved me for a long time. I wanted to express my gratitude and I think I had a crush on that person. Huh? But I never thought you were this close. Also, you're a wonderful person who can persevere and not give up on tasks that nobody wants to do. Eddie? Does she mean... So, um... If it's okay with you, Hiroaki, would you go out with me? M me Are you sure? Yes, I want you, Hiroaki. Not out of guilt, but because I really like you. Y yeah I also always thought it would be nice if the boy I held when I was little was you. Really? Then... If you're happy with a guy like me, please be my girlfriend. <laughs> Yay! I'm so happy to be your girlfriend! It tickles! Your breath is directly hitting my back. <laughs> is this ticklish? Then, how about this? B wait Eddie? So, this is for... Sanking the back that protected me. Hey! It's getting hard to keep my voice down. Uh-oh. What is she doing? It's warm, ticklish, and feels good. Eddie, stop! This is embarrassing. <laughs> That's right. This is better, isn't it? Oh, well... And that's how I started dating Eddie. Eddie is very forward and always wants to be close to me during break time and after school in places where nobody's around. I think Eddie is the only one who loves my scarred pack so much. I love you, Hiroaki. Yeah. When I think about it, these scars that used to be ridiculed aren't so bad after all. I'm Ryota a 27-year-old office worker, working at the head office of a conglomerate company. It sounds good, but in reality, I'm just a regular employee at the sales department who has to work overtime for a low salary. I have to prepare the documents when I get back. I had lunch. I still have afternoon work to do. I was going back to the office when I saw a woman in a black suit staggering. Looks like she's gonna fall. I was worrying about her when she tripped and fell on the street. Oh God! I would have felt so bad if she got hit by the car in front of me. I was glad that I could help her just in time. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. No need to thank me. If you're not feeling well, you should rest a bit somewhere. You're right. Will you please take me to a park? Sure. She could take care of herself once she got better. I said goodbye to her and went back to the office and headed to the reference room to do my work. I guess I can finish gathering all the necessary documents today. Huh? I found a strange document. It's supposed to be a confidential HR document. I can tell that I'm not supposed to have a peek, but it's natural for a person to want to have a look when he's told that he can't. It's my department. All the names are here. Huh? Kanai? 
I've never heard of that name before. It's not the time of the year when we get new employees, and I've never heard that someone was hired recently. Is it someone who used to work in our department? But it seems like all the names of the people who were hired after me are included. It looks like the list is modified frequently, but I don't know this name. It doesn't look like someone who used to work before I came here. I was curious about this Kanai person, so I decided to ask some of my bosses that have been working here for a long time. Excuse me, is there a person named Kanai in our department? Kanae? No. Who is she? You don't know her. How about you, Chief Manager? Do you know someone named Kanai? Uh, I don't know either. Both the manager and the chief manager don't know the name. But it was on the list of the confidential document. I don't get it. Anyway, I'll ask the director. Director, there's something I want to ask you. What is it, Yota? Um, is there a person named Kanai in our department? Hmm. Um, director? Just forget about it, Ryota. What? I don't know anything. I have no idea about any employee named Kanai. You should never say that name again, okay? The director, I can tell that you know something. No, I don't. The director knows something for sure. This person named Kanai does exist indeed. But only a few higher-ups know about this person. If the director reacted the same way the manager and the chief manager did, I would have thought that the name on the list was some kind of a mistake. But looking at the director's reaction, I can't just let it go. I couldn't help but think about it so much that I couldn't do my work right. I made mistakes repeatedly and got scolded by my bosses. Then one day, I met this Kanai person. Excuse me? Yes? You're the one who saved me the other day, aren't you? What? Did I save this girl? Oh, I remember. She's the one who fell on the street. I remember the way her face was covered behind her long hair. You took me to the bench in the park, remember? Yeah, I remember. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you, but I didn't know who you were. Then I saw you coming out of the office, so I found out that you work in the same company as me, and that's why I spoke to you. What? The same company? Really? Yes, here is my ID. Kanae? From the sales department? Yes. You are... What do you mean? I'm from the sales department as well, but a person named Kanai is on the name list but doesn't really exist. Ugh. She seems upset by my remark, so she must be the Kanai. I would never have expected the girl I saved before to be the Kanai person. <sighs> What's done is done. I didn't expect you to be from the sales department. What a weird coincidence. I guess I have to explain myself. Are you sure? Isn't it a highly confidential matter or something? I don't want you spying, so I might as well bring you to our side. Sometimes it's important to be bold while making decisions. I'll treat you to dinner for saving me the other day. So will you listen to me while we eat? It seems like Kanaya is going to explain everything to me. Once I know the truth, I'll be able to concentrate on my work. And since I'm always short of money, it's helpful that she's buying me dinner. Wow, looks so expensive. It's a thank you gift. Whoa, she is so beautiful. I had no idea since her face was always covered behind her hair. Well, let me start with the explanation. Oh, oh, okay. First of all, 
I work for the same company as you. And that's the truth. But I actually work in a different department. A different department? So you mean you're not in the sales department? I'm from the Special Investigation Department, aka SID, that investigates internal spies. Regular employees do not know about this department. W what? I had no idea we had such a department in our company. It sounds like a drama or something, but it does really exist. The way the director reacted is understandable because he knew about Kanai and her real department. By the way, since you know the truth, you are going to work in SID from now on, Ryota. What? So this is not only a thank you gift, but also a welcome gift to the department as well. What? I'm transferring to the SID? This is so sudden! But Kanai wasn't joking. I was called by Kanai as soon as I arrived at the office next morning and was taken to a room in the basement of the head office. I didn't think you were serious about this. I had no choice now that you know the secret. And I need your signature here. Marriage registration form? In order to keep the secret, we need to be close at work as well as in our private lives. So we're going to be married as of today. Of course, we're going to live together, and the place is already prepared. Also, you don't have to talk to me in a formal way. That makes us look fake. This is so out of the blue. I can't believe this is happening. But we are a major conglomerate company in Japan. I don't know what's going to happen if I make those in the secret department unhappy. I guess I have no right to refuse. Just like this, I became a member of a secret department in our company and got married to Kanai. By the way, when I met the director of the sales department in the hallway and spoke to him, he said, Who are you, Ryota? I have no idea who you are. I realize that I can never go back to the old life. <sighs> a month has passed. I've gotten used to my work at the SID, but my everyday life is rather hard for me. Kanai and I are not a couple or friends in the first place, so it's very stressful. Uh, about work today. Yes. We're investigating an HR employee who is suspected of information disclosure. Got it. But I guess a person can adapt to his environment. Even though I still feel there's some distance between Kanai and me, I feel like we're getting closer little by little. Also, everything isn't too bad. My salary is great. What's with this money? What the heck is going on? Is this some kind of a reward for being a confidential member of the company? But this is a great amount of money. There have been lots of surprises and sudden changes, but it's not bad if I can get such an amount. I'm not proud to say this, but I have a tendency to be easily influenced by my surroundings. Maybe that's why I felt that it was okay as long as I get paid a lot. The weird distance between Kanai and me still remained a problem. But it was solved by an unexpected incident six months later. So, we are going to investigate an executive for a breach of trust. It's a direct mission from the chairman. It's not a regular employee, but an executive this time. It's been six months since I joined SID. This is my first big case. That's right. The executive is going to a party tonight, and it seems like he's going to have a secret deal with our competitor. Our job is to get a proof of it. I've never been to a party before. You're not going undercover as a guest, so don't worry. We'll be there as staff. The operating company of the party knows that we'll be there, so we'll just go there and get changed as a waiter and a waitress. You're always prepared. I've been in this department longer than you. Well, I'm not sure you can call this a department since we're the only ones here. What? There aren't any other people? I thought the others were just in disguise or something. The more people there are, the harder it will be when the information gets leaked. That's why we don't have many people. 
The shocking fact that Kanai and I were the only members of this department was revealed, and our mission for the day started. She's slow. The mission has already started. Huh? I heard Kanai's voice from the locker room. Did something happen to her? I opened the door in a hurry. Are you okay? Whoa! Pervert! Ha! Huh. I thought you were in trouble, so I got worried. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. S sorry. Hmm. Well, it was too small. I tried to wear it, but it was too tight. You don't have to wear something so small. Just change the size. Yeah. There was a bit of an accident, but Kanai got dressed as a waitress and our mission began. Because they've been living in Japan where it's very safe, even executives seem to lack the sense of urgency. They have bodyguards, but they don't seem to be worried about being seen at all. We were lucky as we were able to take a picture easily. But it was too early to tell anything. Huh? What? A camera? Shoot! They know about our deal! Get him! I don't care if you get a little rough with him. Oh no! Let's go, Ryota! Unfortunately, they noticed us. Kanai and I ran desperately. But Kanai sprained her ankle and fell down. Ah! Ow! It just run with the proof! I had to think. If I prioritized the work, I would have to leave Kanai. But then I didn't know what was going to happen to her. I... Uriota? I can't leave you. It's okay, we'll get through this. It was a close call, but I managed to run away, carrying Kanai. We were able to get the proof together and finish this mission. Mission accomplished. They announced that the executive was dismissed for not meeting the qualifications. Yeah, it was a big mission. But I'm glad that we could finish it. <laughs> what is it? I was wondering why you saved me when I fell. That's because... The reason why I saved her. That was quite simple. Even though our marriage life started awkwardly, when we lived together, worked together, and spent time together, our feelings can change. Meaning... I guess I've fallen in love with you. <laughs> I think I like you too, Ryota. We both like each other. Well, this is what happened. The day when we will be a real couple instead of a fake one might not be too far. Sorry, I can't imagine getting married to you. What? So let's break up. My name is Kent Honda. I just proposed to my girlfriend and got dumped. Where did I mess up? I thought we were getting along well. I made sure Shiori didn't have any complaints. But I guess she was getting secretly dissatisfied with me. Man, what should I do from tomorrow? I don't know if I can go to work. Even though I was crying over it, I couldn't miss work. While feeling so much stress, I finished today's work with the spirit of a company employee. Ah, I can't help but think about it once I leave work. I feel depressed. Oh, Kent? Are you coming back from work? Oh, Mary. It's been a while. She's Mary Toyota. We've been friends since childhood. Our families are really close, too. Even though I moved away from my hometown after I got a job, we still live in the same vicinity. I guess we were meant to be close. You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, um, I have some stuff going on, you know? Wow, seriously, what's wrong? Oh, no, nothing, nothing, r really. That can't be true, let's go to a quiet place, I'll listen. Sure. Okay, there are hardly any people here, so 
Whatever it is, you can tell me. This is... This place is... <laughs> wow, why are you crying? This place directly connects to my wound! Um, I have no idea what's going on, so... Can I ask you what happened? Yeah, <clears throat> actually... What? So, you got one-sidedly dumped. You were close with Shiori, right? That's right. And I guess the couple I saw yesterday was both you and Shiori. Huh? I often pass by that road, and I happened to see a guy proposing to his girlfriend last night. But I never imagined that shadow was you. W were you watching? It happened to catch my eye, but, I mean, everybody around the area was watching. Oh, how come? Well, I mean, the volume of your voice was... Shiori! Will you marry me? Oh, nothing. Oh, okay. Well, I understand your situation. It's hard for you right now, no matter what I say. You are... Right. But talking to you helped me keep my mind off it. Thank you. I, I see. That's good. Hey, Kent. Hmm? You should choose me instead. For what? I'll never abandon you. Huh? I'll gladly accept it if you propose to me. I don't want anything if I can be with you, and if you wish, um... I can even try to do something embarrassing. M Mary, what are you saying? I've liked you for a long time. I decided to get a job in the same city because I didn't want to be away from you. Well, you must be freaked out because I sound like a stalker. Sorry. Uh, no, that's not how I feel. Mary has liked me for a long time. She never acted like that but she doesn't look like she's lying. More than anything, Mary's not the type to joke around at times like this. But I'm I'm glad to receive your feelings, but it's too soon for me to move on. Sh sure, that's right. I understand, so you need to feel better first, so I'll help you out with that. Thank you, Mary. But I can't do anything to risk it yet. Not until we start dating. <laughs> Who do you think I am? I'll never ask you to do things like that. Oh, you're not. Why do you seem a little disappointed? Just because. <laughs> ah, you're weird. Thanks to Mary, I feel somewhat better. My wound won't be healed so quickly. But I'm thankful that somebody who cares about me so much is someone close to me. Since that day, I started seeing Mary frequently. Are you really okay eating at a family restaurant? Sure, it's good and cheap. Why? You know people say you shouldn't go to a cheap restaurant on a date. Oh yeah, I guess they do. I just think that's nonsense. <laughs> you just flat out rejected the thought, huh? Anything can be fun as long as you're with somebody you like, right? For me, as long as I'm with you, I'd even enjoy eating rocks at the park. I don't want to do that. I was hurt for a while. But I've recovered to a degree where I can have a silly conversation like this. And some unexpected changes were happening. I've always looked at Mary only as a childhood friend, but the more I interacted with her, the more I saw Mary as a woman. I came to see many of Mary's positive attributes. Uh, it's cold. Yeah, it's around that time that I start to crave eating ice cream in a kotatsu. It feels great to eat something cold when you're dressed warm. Our values are very similar, and so we agree on a lot of things. Are you thinking about something weird again? No, not at all. Are you sure? You're not imagining eating ice cream together and pushing me down in the heat of the moment? Yeah, I understand that's something you would want to think about. I, 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 I never... You're too flustered. I guess she's cute like that, too. After three months of spending days like that, Something unexpected had occurred. Huh? Shiori? 
Is that you? Yeah, long time no see, Kent. Yeah, what are you doing here? Well, I realized you were the only one for me. What are you talking about? Anyway, I have to go to work. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, can I meet up with you at the park tonight? Sure. Thank you, I'll be waiting. I wonder what Shiori wants to talk about. Phew, I'm finally finished. The thing about Shiori had bothered me so much, so I couldn't focus on work. Shiori said she'd be waiting at the park, but I'm not really sure what she's thinking. Hi, Kent. Wow. Oh, Mary. Oh, what kind of reaction was that? <laughs> sorry, s sorry. Did you just get off from work? Yeah, I get off early today. Do you want to go out for dinner? Um, well, actually, I have something planned today. Oh, is that right? That doesn't happen very often. Um, yeah. It's not like I'm dating Mary, so I don't need to cover it up or anything. But I shouldn't casually tell her about our meetup. Hi, Kent. Oh, Shiori, why are you here? I was going to wait at the park, but I came here instead. Oh, you guys got back together by any chance? Uh, oh, Mary, no, that's not what this is. I'm happy for you. Good for you, Kent. I guess I'm bothering you guys, so I'm going to go. Mary! Mary, wait! Who's that girl? She's my childhood friend. Mary's been encouraging me since I broke up with you. You already got a new girlfriend? No, we're, we're not dating. I see. Good. What do you mean? Please, let go of me. I don't want to. I'm going to marry you. Don't you think that's way too selfish of you? Huh? You one-sidedly dumped me. What do you want now? K kent I don't have feelings for you anymore. That's right. The person I like now is Mary. Because she was beside me, I was able to get back on my feet. Mary! K kent why are you here? I mean, what about Shiori? I don't know. She just came by without any notice. I see. You see, I don't care about Shiori. I like you, Mary. Uh, Kent? Mary, stay by my side forever. Please? Hey, don't be so loud. We're outside. Stop it now. <laughs> but I'm so happy. You like me too now. Yeah, the days I spent with you were so much fun. I was feeling the same way. Hmm? I love you, Kent. Yeah. I love you too. That's horrible! What's up with that? Shiori. You are the one who proposed to me. Isn't this very selfish of you two? Huh? M mary Are you saying Kent is selfish? You are the one who one-sidedly dumped him, right? I mean, what do you want now? Why are you running back to him? That's... By any chance, were you cheating on Kent? Uh, you were planning on switching to that other guy, but you got dumped by him. Is that why you came back to Kent? N no way! I never cheated on him! You still touch your cheek when you lie. Huh? I was with you a lot, to the point where I had marriage in mind. I didn't know about your affair. But I know of your habits. N no, that's not what it is. I was just feeling lonely. Whatever. I don't want to hear it. K Kent? I'm going to date Mary with marriage in mind. There's no room for you to butt in. If you're going to keep showing up, I'll have to consult the police. N no way. Good luck. Let's go, Mary. Y yes. I knew Shiori didn't have the guts to go any further so I'll probably never see her again. I'm sorry that I got you involved. No, it's okay. I'm also sorry for poking my nose into your affair, even though I'm an outsider. I mean... What are you talking about? You're my girlfriend now. Oh, yeah, that's right. I feel embarrassed when I think about it. <laughs> Me too. I mean, I just happened to come to your house. Oh, yeah. That's true. I mean, it was so natural, so... Um, 
Well, that wasn't my intention on bringing you here, so you don't have to... Silly, who said I didn't want to? I told you in the beginning, right? W what are you talking about? Unless we're dating, I won't do anything too risque. Oh, yeah. So now that we're dating, you know... Because of this, I got over the failed proposal and got together with my girlfriend. By the way, how did you know Shiori was cheating? Hmm, my instinct. Wow, that's amazing. I never knew that side of you. So if you ever get any wrong ideas, I'll know immediately, okay? <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. I love you too much. You keep expressing your love even when we're outside. Is that weird? Oh no, I like it. Tell me more. <laughs> okay, I got it. If you're okay, will you? Wow, ask me that in a proper place, silly. You should know better than that. But now that I think about it, last time you proposed, you screamed out loud. Uh, don't bring that up. Sorry, but I like that about you. So, um, I'll be waiting. I got it. The moment I saw this smile, I made a decision to protect Mary for the rest of my life. That has not changed a bit, even after many years. And we're happily married now. By the way, I propose to marry out in the open. I'm Kent Honda, a normal high school sophomore. Is Mary sleeping again? Is she okay? Hmm, isn't it lunch break yet? Mary Toyota is sleeping behind me. She has my back, and she is my idol. I remember how beautiful Mary was back then. You guys are not from around here, aren't you? Well, I understand. I won't do anything like this again. However, I fell in love with her. It's impossible for an invisible guy like me to become cool and rugged. Uh, that's all for today's lesson. Also, the results of the midterm test from the other day are posted in the hallway, so please take a look. Mm. Oh, is the class over? Toyota, please come to the teacher's room after school. Okay, I got 10th place in my grade again this time. As expected of consistent Honda, you have no weaknesses on any subject. I don't really like that nickname, but... Damn, I got called by the teacher again. That's the worst. You sleep all the way through class. It's your fault. By the way, have you decided on your summer vacation plans? Huh, it's them again. They're occupying the classroom. Oh, well, we're in the same school, so why not? You're a good-natured person, Kent. Okay, let's go to the cafeteria and have lunch. Well, maybe I should study at the library today. Huh? Are you saying that I should take makeup classes every day during the summer vacation? Toyota, did you notice that you failed all the tests? How would I know? With your current grades, you'll be repeating a year. If you don't mind it, I won't force you to take makeup classes. Ah. <sighs> you'll have a makeup exam in two weeks. So if you don't like makeup classes, study hard until then. <sighs> I might not get a summer vacation because of this. Hey, Mary. Mm, you are? This is Kent Honda, who you helped a year ago? Oh, the man from that time. So, what do you want from me? Well, I accidentally overheard about the supplementary lessons in the summer vacation. If you don't mind, I'll help you study until the makeup exams. Ah, I appreciate your offer, but I don't want to owe someone I don't know very well. But if you keep it like this, you will... It's okay, I have a smart twin sister. If I rely on her, I should be able to get through the makeup exam, somehow. I appreciate your concern. Thank you, Kent. Ah, uh, yeah. For Mary's son, I'm just a classmate she helped by chance. Huh. I thought it was a chance to become Mary's friend. What Mary says makes sense, but does she hate me? Um, you're Ken Honda, aren't you? Yes, I am, but... I'm Mary's younger sister, Iui Toyota. Today, you said you wanted to teach my sister how to study, didn't you? I have a favor to ask about that. Huh? 
Mary said she will ask her sister for help with her studies. That's you, Yui. I may not be able to help my sister in avoiding makeup classes. Actually, since I entered high school, my grades and science subjects have been sluggish. I don't have the confidence to teach my sister all the subjects. Oh, really? Actually, I've always thought your solid grades were amazing. So please, can you help my sister with her studies? Um, uh... You are the only person who can teach my sister with me. Well, I would be happy to teach Mary, but are you sure this is all right? Yes, I'd rather ask you to start today. All right. With this, I might be able to become friends with Mary. I'm home! Huh? Is someone here? What? Should we start with mathematics? Uh, which is likely to take a long time? Yeah, let's use my old workbook. Oh, welcome back, Mary. Kent, didn't I just decline your offer to study? Mary, I asked him to help me study with you. Eh, is that so? Yes, right. Why did you turn down Kent's offer? Well, it was just because I didn't want to involve Kent in my business. Isn't it a situation where you have to worry about it? Or else you would have to repeat a year. Studying in high school is different from studying in middle school, isn't it? I told you that I can't teach you like I did during high school entrance exams. You can do it, Yui. We'll be fine. Uh, maybe. Oh, Mary, no, I can't. Ugh. You two are very close, aren't you? I can't believe you can say that after seeing this. Shut up and do as I say. We'll start tomorrow. And so, the next day, our study session for the makeup exam began. I saw both your tests, and it seems that Yui is weak in geometrical problems. However, she is better in liberal arts than me. Thank you, Kent! Mary isn't good at science subjects either. You got a failing grade in all subjects in the first place. Huh? Are you making fun of me? Ugh! Mary, be quiet in the library! You guys have to get rid of the calculation errors first. So we'll start with the junior high school problems. Damn, I can't believe I couldn't solve middle school problems like that. The library will be temporarily closed tomorrow, so let's study in our room. Huh? I'm fine, but are you okay? And the next day. Uh, Mary and Yui, aren't we a little close to each other? There is nothing we can do because the table is small. Don't worry, Kent. Okay, let's calm down. Today we're going to continue math from yesterday. You don't have to calm down. Yui, don't say unnecessary things. I solved Mary's miscalculation habits yesterday, so cheer up today. Mary, you're calculating too quickly. Please proceed carefully, line by line. Oh, got it. I was wrong here. It's good if you find it yourself. Try the next problem. Kent is amazing. Hmm... Next one. But two hours later... Uh, I'm tired. Wow! My sister has been doing math problems for two hours! Give me a reward, Kent. A reward? I'm tired from studying for the first time in a while. It's only the first day, so you're joking when you say you want a reward. Hmm. Then... Let's do this. If you average 80 points or more in the test, I will do one thing you say. Whatever it is. Okay, Kent, let's do the next question. You're alive again. Okay. I'm sorry my sister is such a calculating girl, Kent. I'm okay. It's been a long time since I've been studying like this, so it's fun. Okay, I got it right. Come on to the next question. Then it's fine, but... Two weeks passed while we were doing that. Mary's makeup exam is finally today. Well... It's my birthday, so I should go home early. Hey, you're Kent Honda, aren't you? What is it? Recently, you're getting along well with Mary and Yui. I'm jealous. We owe those two a little something. Won't you call them over for a second? No, I won't. Ah, oh, why don't you call them? If you don't call them, you're going to get hurt. Are you fine with that? 
Those two are my dear friends. I can't call them for you guys. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> A nerd like you is their friend? Unbelievable. <laughs> That's so funny. You're kidding me. Hey, if you don't tell us where they are, I'll kill you. I will not give in to your threats. Hey, you! Hey, you guys! Ugh. Oops, you... Oh my, if you have any problem with us, deal with us directly. You know what happens if you mess with our friend, don't you? Ugh, Mary the Fierce Tiger and Yui the Falcon have appeared. Those guys are really dangerous. Let's run away! Kent, you're terrible for leaving without saying anything. Yeah, right! I haven't given you a birthday present yet! I'm sorry. I only told you yesterday that it is my birthday today, but I don't need any presents. Then this is my birthday gift to you! Eh? 90 points in all subjects? Yeah! Did I beat you? Hey, what are you going to do by beating him, sister? Congratulations, Mary! It's amazing that you've come this far from those low scores! Well, uh, of course you've taught me everything, Kent. Mary, what's wrong? Your face is red, but... Wow, sorry for holding your hands. I was just so happy. No, it's fine as it is. Kent, thank you very much. I wonder why, but it seems like Mary is getting cuter than usual. Kent, if you don't mind, will you help me with my studies from now on? Uh, yeah, okay. Then me too! Huh? This is my birthday gift to you, Kent! Huh? Kent, can you hug me? Wait, Yui, what does that mean? Yui, do you also like Kent? Wait, Mary, what did you just say? Oops, uh, no, I didn't say anything. Mary and Kent are a good match, but... But I won't lose! The day we saved Kent, I was the first one to fall in love with him! What? If you're frustrated, why don't you give just one kiss? Excellent! Eh? eh? Wow, sis! Mm. Hey, how long are you going to stay like that? You promised me that you would do anything if I scored over 80. No, I shouldn't have listened and promised that. Are you trying to declare war, sister? I'm the one who brought Kent here, right? Yui, there is no order or anything in love. If you get in the way, you're a rival, right? Yeah, all right. I'll be the one who wins in the end. It's great. Both of you, please don't get into a fight because of me. This way, I studied with the twin bad girls and they fell in love with me. Ah, oh, the people around us get scared. So calm down, Mary and Yui. Thank you for watching again. It would make me so happy if we could watch another rom-com story together. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. See you next time. Bye!